Hey guys, so welcome back to the demo on my shopping mall directory app. Just a quick recap, I showed you how to get started, add content to our database, uh, showed you how that data gets sent through the API and using those CRUD operators, and then we did an add-on to extend the data from one of our uh, requests. So now going back to uh, this shopping mall directory, let's say that every time there is a new store uh, that's added to the directory. A new, a new store just came to the mall, so it gets added to this directory. I want to push out an email to myself to get notified that, hey, there's a new store. You should come and shop here. Check it out. So I can actually do this with one of the uh, extensions from the Xano Marketplace, the SendGrid extension. This allows me to uh, push out emails to my users. Uh, additionally, allows me to use dynamic templates. So let's get started. I'll show you how to do this. So here in my dashboard, I'm going to go to this navigation bar and into my marketplace on the left side. And here is the marketplace. So just a couple things to point out. Uh, right now we have a few different extensions. Uh, Google OAuth allowing your users to sign in and log in with their Google accounts. ReCAPTCHA in order to uh, protect your site or app from spam and robots. Uh, Twilio SMS to push out text messages uh, to your users. And then SendGrid email. Uh, and SendGrid's owned by Twilio and it allows you to push out email messages to your users like we're going to do. And there's also more coming soon, so we're continuing to add to this. We're going to have full-on templates for apps soon, so stay tuned for that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click into SendGrid email here, and I get this overview page. So, on the right side, I'm going to hit this green button that says Install Extension. I'm going to open, this blue window will open up, I'll hit Install again. And now that it is installed, I actually need to um, go ahead and configure this extension. So if I click on this blue configure button, there's a few keys here um, in these environment variables that I need to enter in. So uh, API key and a from email actually. So in order to do that, uh, these instructions right here on the page will actually help me get that information. So first is just to sign up for an account. There's a link to do that. I already have an account, so once logged in, Go to settings, API keys, and create an API page. So I've got SendGrid up in one of my tabs. So once you're logged into SendGrid, you'll see this dashboard view. And then over here in settings, you'll go to API keys. And then you can create an API key in the top right. And once this opens, you can just give it a name. And I'll say mine is a directory app. And then you can choose the access, and you will do create and view. And then you'll get this key, which I'll have blurred out here. And you can just one-click copy that to your key, uh, keyboard. And then you can come back to Xano and reopen that configure button and just paste it here where it asks for the API key. And the send from email is going to be um, my email there set up in SendGrid. So once I enter in that SendGrid API key and also that SendGrid from email, that blue messaging will turn to green and tell me my extension is configured. Okay, so remember, when I'm adding a store to this shopping mall directory app, I want to get an email to tell me there's a new store so I can go shop there. So now that this extension is configured, I'm going to go to my API page, and you'll notice there's this new SendGrid validation API group right here, but I'm going to go into this public group because I'm going to add a store, so I want those CRUD operators. So here are all those CRUD operators that Xano automatically generates, and I'm actually going to go to post, add a store record, because there's a new store coming to the mall. So once this loads, I'll see that uh, anatomy or workflow of this API endpoint. So the next step I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my function stack, I'm going to hit this blue plus button, and then I'm going to go into custom functions. And here we see there are two different uh, send grid functions. So the basic send and the dynamic send. The dynamic send is what you would use for a template. Since I'm just pushing out an email to myself because I'm the only user in my app, um, I'm just going to use this basic send right now. So I'm going to click onto that. And this new window will open up. And here we see we have some inputs that are needed uh, to complete this function. So I actually don't have that over here in this add store record. So I'm going to have to add that. I'm going to need a to email, a subject, and a body. So in order to add that to these, this API input, I can click this blue plus button right here above inputs. And I'll click that. And the first one is email. So I'm going to want an email uh, field or data type. So 
I'll click email and name it email. And then I'll do the same couple of things with body and subject. But for body and subject, I'm just going to use a text field. So uh, we want subject first. That makes sense. Hit save. And I'll hit this blue plus button again. And I'll add a, a body input. OK, now that I have my inputs, I want to go back into this SendGrid function and actually map these inputs together. So what I have to do is hit this drop down menu and then go to input and find that email that I just clicked in and do the same thing with subject. Uh, hit input and scroll down a little bit. Hit subject and then hit the drop down for body. Go to inputs and I'll find that body. So now that my inputs are all mapped together, I can actually go ahead and uh, add a new store record and at the same time send me myself an email uh, notifying me that there's this new store in my mouth. So I'll go to run and debug and we'll say the new store is a Nike store and we'll call it um, athletic wear. Uh, the location we'll say is floor two, maybe unit N for Nike. And then the email it's going to, I'll type in my email. And the subject will be, hey, check out the new store. And in the body, I'll just say something like, the Nike store is now open. Come shop here. OK, so now that I've got all my inputs, and remember, we put those in those quotation marks uh, because this is that JSON object we talked about during the API video. I'll go ahead and click Run. OK, and we see is a success. Everything ran successfully. So we see that uh, new store ID is 5. Remember, we had Foot Locker we added earlier, and then we deleted it. Um, so the ID uh, is unique to that 4, even to Foot Locker, even though it was deleted. We have the name Nike, the description athletic wear, and the location 2N. But we don't see anything about the email. Um, that's because that's not in our response at all. That email is just getting sent out. And I actually have a notification here on my phone with that email, so we know that works. I'll also go to my database table just to show you the post worked, um, just because we did some weird things. And sure enough, there's that Nike store. Um, so just kind of coming back here um, to talk about what I did a little more, I went to this add store record. I added a new function um, that was generated once I configured the SendGrid extension. And then I mapped the inputs, and I had to create new inputs to match uh, what was needed for that function. Um, so obviously a very powerful tool. You know, if you had many users, you might want to consider using the uh, dynamic template so that you have something set up and ready to go um, that's customized to each one of them. You can play around in SendGrid with that. But obviously also coming back into the marketplace, uh, we have some, you know, you can also push out SMS text messages. Uh, Google recaptcha is really important if you want to protect your application from spam. And then Google OAuth to allow your users to log in and, and sign in with their Google accounts instead of sign up with email. And once again, we have more coming soon. We're going to add um, Facebook authentication, I believe Twitter, GitHub, and down the roadmap, we're going to have some templates for you guys where you can just uh, start with uh, an app, a back-end app pretty much already built out for you and uh, do whatever little customization you need to. So that's really exciting. Stay tuned for that. Um, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video for the Shopping Mall Directory demo.